before it collapsed into like material. <laughs> I yeah. Think. Yeah. Information. Mm -hmm. Like or pure like vibration. You know, yeah. it's a combination, it's like the like, like the Kivalion. It's like the hermetic principles. It's like the ingredients to create worlds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or yeah. or music, music to create music actually. Uh, all, all of the elements, uh, vibration, correspondence, polarity. <clears throat> sorry, uh, is is to, from when when I discovered that book, I thought, yeah, this is amazing. It's talking about that. It's talking about music. How to create, you know, like the basic ingredients to it. <laughs> yeah, totally. Mm. That's something like uh, me and John. Uh, who kind of like runs like the Discord. But anyways, um, we talked about mandala narrative, but like what we we're doing in here as like, I was I was talking about narrative stock. He has this thing about like narrative bra. And we got it from like this other guy or whatever. And it was like bra, like as like this Dallas term. And I'm like, oh, as a cook, like there's like this one little thing. And I learned it from my chef in culinary school. But like stock takes like days to do, you know, like, uh, and, and, but like broth is like a quick thing and, and there's like a whole other thing about stock. And so I was like, oh, what we're doing here is like this narrative stock. And like, we're, we're getting like different like bones and like different, like, uh, like bay leaf and, and, um, a mirepoix and like different, uh, core ingredients to create like that, that what I was talking about, like that skin of the dreams. <laughs> and and then like there's this great essay by uh, Philip K. Dick and it's I always like reference it but it's like uh, how how to create a universe that doesn't fall apart in in ten days or something like that. It's it's uh, you know it's kind of funny because I didn't know know it uh, consciously, but when it, when me and you uh, within the vacuum first started like bouncing back uh, the mandala stuff. Later, you, you say something about, like, you first talked about it as what? Like, there were, you, what did you call them? Like, blueprints for universes or something like that? Or worlds or something? Oh, yeah, I remember. I, uh, <clears throat> one of the first things I did with these mandalas was a little, like, magazine to show to, to friends and stuff. And it was, like, the... Uh, fundament. Oh, let me let me see. I have it right here. <clears throat> Essential principles for the creation of worlds. That in Spanish. Principios yeah. esenciales para la creación de mundos. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll take it. Uh, but that that like demonstrates anything. like the power of like what I'm talking about. Like you don't need to like. <laughs> be totally aware of it but you have to be like confident in in like dancing with it you know what i mean <laughs> like i like, i do a yeah. lot of things and i say a lot of things but then like i once i feel it it just so happens like you know it's like i'm not making it up like i'm i'm forming it out of the the clay that's there <laughs> like it's there it just needs to come out more you know <laughs> Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's the interaction. It's the interaction with the field, mm -hmm. which reacts to to your level of awareness. Let's say yeah, that yeah. way, because you know it, it interacts with what is aware of what. So that it depends on your level of you know dynamic range. How can you move, and which, what kind of frequencies can you reach? I I think all of them are good. You know, like it's everything to explore. You know, whatever the 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 horror to the enlightenment, right? Yeah, it's all part of it. Yeah, I have the seven hermetic principles here. Is principle of mentalism. That's the first one. <laughs> the principle of correspondence. The second one. The principle of vibration. Uh, the fourth one is the principle of polarity. The fifth, the 
principle of rhythm. <laughs> it's, it's really cool. And the principle of cause and effect. And the final, the seven is principle of gender. Yeah, I think it's yeah. it's great because it's all connected, you know, like all of those phenomenons are connected and, and it's talking all about geometry and color and sound and, you know, shapes and, and everything because I was talking about it with the, with the chat AI and yeah, actually it was about that and how that is working into this fractal structure that can iterate itself ad infinitum, right? Mm -hmm. Like, it's doing it and doing it and doing it. You know, it's like infinite imaginarium. <laughs> yeah. mm. uh, it makes me um, really think about something that I wanted to talk to you guys about tonight, and it just was something that came in dream time. And, uh, you know, the Merkaba as, as a shape that we see like on the, the Jewish star, two overlapping triangles. And I, I don't know how it's described in Kabbalistic faith, but we're in this duality of the, the physical and the spiritual or dream realm. I don't think that there's any difference really. It's the, the astral or energy body in expression um, when we don't choose to observe from what we are. And so when you look at the Merkaba face on, it's a two, two dimensional design. And, but it, if you look at it as a three dimensional design, then it becomes a pyramid. And when the pyramid is, when the design is taken from flat and inverted at 90 degrees, then <clears throat> it's two intersecting pyramids, one facing up and one facing down. And it was just kind of came into me that one of the things I needed to say today was like, we're at this intersection in our story where we've been trained to perceive from the lower pyramid of the physical form and yet we're manipulated by the energy pyramid of the consciousness form by mind control and you know whatever tools they have to contort awareness from the astral energy body self but each of us within the vacuum like you said with our level of consciousness perceives if we're only tra trained in thought that we are a body, that we are a physical structure, or if we are just the clay, then the resonance created from the energy from the astral keeps us flowing within the flow of that consciousness that we're just a shape and we're emotion or um, a, a structure. But when the pyramid of consciousness and, and accessing there our non-physical presence is integrated into our self, into a, a perfect union of balance of the physical self and the energy self entering from the realm of uh, our co-creative state in, in dreams or meditation or just releasing what we consider to be the rules of the world. That's when the onset of the rebalancing of the story begins because the stories that exist outside of our current paradigm manifest within us through music and through words and through um, expressions of so many kinds. And I just thought, well, I just wanted to share that because it was something that just felt like we're living in the bottom pyramid like most people and we're trying to talk to them about consciousness and it's available to them but they don't feel an access point even though they're living it, it it's but it's just a tool against them it's not a tool for them to become infinity 